All right. Well, this is kind of crazy because this is my favorite school. And uh, this, I mean, this school, I've probably, like I said, I've managed, mentioned this many times. I've probably found 30 silvers and like seven silver rings out of here. No gold. And um, I was looking at an old aerial picture of this. And there used to be like a trail or a road that came up through here. And right here are some trees. And you know, I've hunted this whole field. I've gridded off this whole field twice in different directions. And um, I've never, <laughs> I've never hunted the baseball diamond itself, this particular diamond. The other ones are grass and I've hunted those, but this one, this dirt is like hard as a rock in the summertime and I think it's always deterred me from doing it but I don't know why I never did it in the winter that's the second one that I've dug out of here this is why I'm running this video is because the, I got one right there and I started to grid this off I didn't find anything came all the way back over here I got another greeny weedy so the other one was like a 40 something I don't know why these are so green in this um, hard pack um but anyways, this little particular area used to have a grove of trees. I didn't know that until just recently looking at an old photo. Trail leading up into a grove of trees. And I thought, you know, I don't think I've ever hunted that circle. And I came out here today and I got two weeds. Well, I'm going to keep going and see if a silver pops up out of here. Like I said, the first one was 44. I can't read it. I just probably rubbed off the date. Oh, well. Well, not only is it a wheat, but it could be two wheats. <laughs> now, I wasn't getting any super high tone out of this. So, to make me think that this would be silver. But, um, anyways, thought I'd turn the camera on. Just, oh no, it looks like another, another penny here. This one's not green. But it is also a wheat. It's deeper. It was a little deeper in the dry or in the wet. Uh, can't quite read it, but it's either 59 or 39. Even though it's not a big deal. Wow. We've been sitting here and I've walked around them for the last four years, five years. All right, well, it's getting a little darker than, and well, let me say this again. I am here longer than I expected to be. I still have this little section right here to do. And I just dug, I just dug a one and a half inch, seriously, right under the surface, a buffalo nickel. And that is just crazy. Um, I don't think I've dug a buffalo nickel here. It's pretty crappy, but definitely a buffalo nickel. Um, when I couldn't tell, I had to put my light on it. I had to spit on it. But there's the... Uh, eh. Anyways, it's a buffalo nickel. There's the buffalo right there. And uh, let's see if I can get a face. There's the face, but you can't you can't really tell, but it's there. That is just crazy. I'm still waiting to find that silver right in here. I'll just I just just die if I find a silver in here. That's good. That's that's good enough. I got five wheats. Five weeks. Okay, so here's the funny thing. Sorry, alarm went off. So in this whole area, this whole uh, infield that I've I've hunted, I've dug every coin signal I've come across. Five were wheat pennies, one memorial, and this buffalo nickel, and all of them probably less than four inches. That is really weird. That there's not more modern 
dimes and I can't believe people hunted this and then left all those wheat pennies. And this, this right in the baseline between first and second, this could have been a gold ring and they just left it there. Well, I just had a, a really weird tone. It was one of those tones that was like all messed up with a little high tone in it. And so I decided to dig it. It just sounded really horrible. But I decided to dig down, down about 9 inches, 10 inches. And I started pulling out glass and porcelain and everything. And then I came across this. And this is what was giving me my high tone. This comes up like a quarter, half dollar. A Rexall drug. I'm assuming aluminum lid. But yep, yeah, that was it. And then more big chunks. Really strange. It's like a little garbage pile. But I was kind of hoping that there might be like some silver hiding around these jars and stuff. But nope. There's still, still more uh, iron in there. These uh, flakes. Flakes of iron. But uh, no more high tone. But just strange to get all this little porcelain. I like finding porcelain. That means that somebody has been here. But that's, a, that's pretty dang deep. <sighs> All right, what is it? Is it a trumpet thing? Mouthpiece or I'm sure it's copper brass. Huh. So what's it? Well, I'm I've been pretty damn bored, but I've got just a small section of this field left to do from the red cone over to this pole, so not too much. I got silver. I didn't do a live dig record because not too long ago, after being here for a couple hours, I hadn't done any live dip, dig attempts. I did one, and it was like a 15 inch pipe. Oh, it's horrible trying to dig through these rocks and stuff. And this one was a high tone, but then when I opened it all metal, I was getting a lot of iron numbers mixed in there and then when I put the discrimination back on it was chopping off my signal and I, I just didn't have a good feeling about it and I should have recorded. First one of the day. I've gotten a couple wheats today so far and um, that's about it. But this, oh man, this is sweet. This makes up for all this walking I'm pacing off in this field. I've got... I did that section from there to there. I've done this one and I'm finishing this one and I've already done that one and I still have that one to that one to do all the way to the diamond. And that's gridding off and that's the only way you're gonna find these coins. Well, you can randomly walk around but you'll miss stuff. And I'm gonna feel pretty confident when I get done with this field that uh, I'll go on to the next one and I won't have to come back to this field. Like, is that 25? 35. 35. Well, I'm not sure I'm going to find silver today. It's uh, like the 4th of November and it's cold. Well, it's not that cold, but I'm cold. I'm not dressed warm enough, but uh, I've got a real iffy one here. So this um, this little playground right here, I think on the old aerial map shows that it goes circled, so it might have been a uh, waiting pool. And i um, been here many, many, many times and pulled a Merc out of there one day. You know, just how it goes, right? Right on the edge. It's like you walk right by it so many times and missed it. Well, I got one here that could be. This is iffy. Uh, one direction in all metal, I'm getting a perfect 10 and 1147. But then in the other direction, it's a lot of iron mixed in this. So. Wheat today. 
Something else maybe right there might be my iron. There's something else over here too. I'll keep digging, but that's what I came for right there, man. <laughs> Bite my words. Bite my words. Merc, merc. So, in this little area, I got merc here, a couple rosies ring, two or three mercs right here, rosy. I think a rosy and a Merry Widow's 10 too. And now this guy. I've been over this area so many times. Never give up. Places where you found silver, go back, go back, go back, go back. I know I say that all the time, but I wouldn't be here and I wouldn't be finding this if that weren't true. Was that 39? I'm hunting with Hap over there, so Hap's over there, and uh, just trying to pick up his silver. Today he's picked up some wheats, I think. Well, I got some sort of token pendant, really light aluminum. It came up quarter, but it's uh, it's a little dirty to get a. Uh, anything on it right now but uh, I'll clean it up and get a picture I'm at a 19 like 19, around 1958 school that I found it a few times and only managed to find one silver coin a couple silver uh, jewelry items but uh, it's just pretty swampy field but let me clean this up and get a picture well I'll save the picture it looks like it's a dog tag 1979 All right, I just want to do a quick example. This is not silver. Anyways, I had a little bit better tone. I actually dug it, so I kind of disturbed it just a little bit. But it was a perfect dime this way, and with a little bit of 45s mixed in, which is why uh, when I went this way, there was no tone. But when I came back this way, it still sounded really good, and a little bit of 45, it's why I dug it. Anyways, um, it looked like it had been a plug dug here before, but they didn't pick the dime, which it's just clad. But, you know, it's another perfect example. Of when it sounds right, dig it. You never know what you're going to find. Could have been silver. Should have been silver. <laughs>